Uh, some schools in the federal capital territory have expressed their determination to breaking barriers, limiting their potentials to achieving their dream careers. And this is as non-government organizations beyond the classroom marked its 2024 International Day of the Girl Child with a mentoring session meant to empower the girls to envision and shape the world that they want to live in. Our correspondent, Imano Bogudo, tells us more. A show of power, zeal and determination to break the barriers limiting the girls from achieving their potentials erected by society. This includes barriers erected by religion and tradition where the girl child is not really given her place and voice in the society but made to be seen as a lesser being. In the scheme of things, the Beyond the Classroom Foundation is inculcating in these girls life skills, including the principles of self-reliance, self-confidence, and self-motivation. Girls want to be teachers, girls want to be medical doctors, girls want to be nurses, and all that. Who shows that our girls are actually both smart and very intelligent, looking forward to the future. So what we're trying to do at Beyond the Classroom is not just to bring out women who are very far off on TV, women who they can't reach. We try to ensure that we bring mentors who they can reach, people who have gone beyond their odds, people who they can see face to face and say, oh, hey, this person achieved this. If the person can do that, I can do that also. It's great that we have the likes of Okonje Wela on TV that they can see and emulate, but we, we realize that for most of them, they want mentors that they can feel and see face to face and talk to and be inspired by them. I think that the face-to-face -face contact helps better than to have role models that you don't have any um, reach to. So for us, it's more of a mentor-mentee relationship to build girls than a role modeling one. My name is Abdu Dimka Aisha. Aisha Dimka, one of the girls, reeled out her dream of breaking into the male-dominated engineering field. I want to be a mechanical engineer in future because I have always have had a love of cars since I was five. And I want to be the first person, because fuel nowadays is, in Nigeria is very, very expensive. So I want to be that kind of, build that kind of car that when you have a car, you don't have to, you know, have that fear of going to buy fuel or do all those kind of things. You just powered by water and it's, water is like everywhere, it's like 70% of our nation. Because since I was small, I've always heard that girls are the ones that are supposed to cook, the ones that are supposed to do all those um, house chores for the men. But I want to, I want to say that the first... The president in England, she was a woman. She was a girl before she became a woman. And she was the one that made England like the best country it was today. If people can continue to do more programs like this to help the world to become a better place for women. For the men should also support the girls. The men, that's why I'm saying that this, what we're doing here today is an awareness campaign, an enlightenment campaign to help men know that they need the women to also do well. The women need to contribute their own quota to the society. The event is organized in commemoration of the 2024 International Day of the Girl Child with a theme, Girls, Vision for the Future. In Abuja, for New Central, I am Emmanuel Bagudu.